Okay, this is a beach cart that I built about five years ago. And for some unknown reason, they got sand in the bearings. I don't know how that happened. If you can hear them, it has sand in the bearings. So I was wanting to change the bearings or clean them or something. And first got to take the wheel off. And this cart here is a tractor supply box and it's made out of all aluminum. I build it. So here's the tire and we're going to get rid of, take the bearings out. First thing I would recommend doing is just let most of the air out of the tire. Then 10 millimeters bolts. So I'm just going to use a little ratchet and another socket on the other side because they're not tight. They're fairly loose. It's got a nylon lock washer on them. There are a grand total of four bolts. On here. Oh well, we'll start with this side. This plate was on here, it came off here. Got a little spider webs in there. A little dirt, grit. Here's their little gasket to keep the sand out of the bearings. Just a little tiny piece of material. That belongs on that side. Now to get the bearings out, Just push on each side to loosen it up. There it is. And here's the back side of the bearings. It is right here. And here's another cloth here too. I'm just going to leave this one in there because it's stuck pretty good. The bearings. You can hear they don't sound the best. Now you buy a new set of bearings for $25 and they're made, they're stainless steel bearings in a plastic housing. So not the best bearings in the world to begin with, my opinion. But thing is these tires are only good for 100 pounds a piece anyway. So it really don't matter. Here's the other cloth out of this side. I'm going to leave this in. I don't even know if it comes out. It looks like it. And this one here. You can hear how nasty those are too. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put them in this washer. I already tucked the other one out, so I'm going to put them in this washer. What's in this washer is diesel. I use diesel to clean a lot of stuff. It's a lot cheaper and it does a good job. It does put an oily film in here on these bearings, which is, uh, is okay for now because we're going to clean them. Okay, now we have, it's actually diesel coming out of here. We're just cleaning the top and the bottom and turning it. So that's going to break down anything that's in there. 
because it is a good cleaner. One thing you don't don't want on these bearings is anything that's oily, because considering we're, we're dragging it in sand, which is bad stuff, you don't want to spray WD-40, any oil, any grease, anything in these bearings. If you do, you're asking for trouble. That's why we're trying to clean this to get any oil contaminate in there and get rid of all the sand and to rinse it out. So basically it's just diesel running out. You can actually take a little cup and a regular paintbrush do the same thing I'm doing right here. So we're pretty well done with that I think. Now I'm just going to turn it, make sure I don't hear any grit on this. I don't hear any. Sounds like it's got a little play on that one. Same with this one. It's only bearings in a piece of plastic housing. For some reason, uh, on wearing out, the plastic housing is going to wear out first. I'd rather have just regular metal bearings. But considering the wheels only hold 100 pounds a piece, and that's probably extreme. Um, these bearings are probably just fine. So we're going to just blow the oil. Now we're blowing the diesel cleaner out. Oh yeah, see I don't even hear any sand in it now. Oh yeah, big difference. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, now we're going to go to the next point. And each one of these we're going to clean. We're going to saturate it. This is degreaser, by the way. It's actually commercial degreaser. Right there. It don't matter which kind you use. You can use engine cleaner if you want. You just got to make sure it's a degreaser that has no oil in it. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Now we're going to take these and we're going to wash them out with water. Okay, got one done. Got 
too. Okay, now we're just going to blow them out, get all the water out of it. Okay, now we're going to take these three and set them over here to let them dry. First thing we're going to do, we have this graphite dry lubrication. This is the only thing you use on these bearings. Do not use WD-40 grease or any other oil. If you do, it tracks sand. This will not. This is a dry spray. So we're going to go right here in the bearing area and we're going to put some in. Now rotate it. See, so as you can tell, it looks like muddy water. That's exactly what this stuff looks like. Okay, now put some on this side. And same thing over here. See, this will dry into like a dust. Oh, that's more than enough. I overdid it. Okay, now after we lubricated them, now we got it to install them back into the wheel. Very easy to do. First we tuck out these little paper things and we're going to insert that first. Then we're going to take the bearing and put it in here. It goes just like that. Right between these two little pieces right here. Here, 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 here. It goes in that one way. Now flip it over. Now we're going to do the same. Put this little cardboard thing in or whatever what it is. Inside the bottom. Take the bearing. Figure out which direction everything goes, which is right here. Push it all the way down like that. Next, I screwed up. So, this is how you remove the bearings when you mess up. Just pop it back out. Uh, actually, one of these was in the spot. And then it went down like so. There you go. Same thing with this one. They had that little piece of felt in there that went right in here first. Okay. Now get the other part and then put the felt right against it like this. Now this is going to be the front, so the head of the bolts will go on that side. Now the other piece, felt we're putting it on next. Put the right pieces in. Next thing we're just putting all the bolts through, getting it ready. Now 
That's like so. And the other side. Line up all the little bolts. And I finally got all four bolts in. Then just take the ratchet and snug up the bolts again. That's why you should have the tire kind of deflated so it doesn't fight you back because it's trying to push the hubs out. So now after you tighten them down just a little, then go around just like any time you do a lug nut so they're equal amount of pressure on all the bolts. Considering they're lock nuts on them, they're nylon, so they don't come off. You know, you just have to snug them up. You don't have to over tighten them or anything. So basically, now you got your bearings clean and everything. All ready to go. So now we're going to put this back on the cart, and then we're totally done. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel, that would help us out. Thank you.